Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Chemistry. So today in this video we are going to learn how to design a one-dimensional polymer and conducting polymer in the one dimension. So let's get started. So first what we'll do is first we'll understand what is like what is the unit cell in the one dimensional lattice. Okay. So suppose you are having a this kind of lattice when benzene ring is repeating in a one dimension. Okay and you will be getting a nano ribbon or nano rod of benzene rings so this will be repeating this unit is repeating right if you see this so this ring is repeating in the one dimension or if you are taking this polyacetylene so this is the repeating unit okay similarly in this case this is the repeating unit so this is the unit cell okay now what you need to do is see this metal studio allows you to design a three dimensional material right you need to uh, design a material in a one dimensional then you have to consider the third second and third dimension as a you know, far away from the each other so that it will be in no interacting so what we'll do is first we'll take a see in this case the repeating unit is what this benzene ring is repeating right or there are see this is the one way of doing this there are multiple ways of making this unit cell if you move this if I shift this unit cell to a little right or left, so this is also the primitive unit cell or one unit cell possible, right? So whatever way you wish, you can have a unit cell depending on the unit cell we having the band structures. Now we'll take the <coughs> design the benzene molecule. We'll take one six member ring. Okay, so we have the six member ring over here. Now we'll go to the display style, we'll make it ball and stick model. Okay. Now you see this is your benzene molecule. Now you want to propagate in this direction, right? So the edge length you know, now you need to have a crystal lattice system. So what I'll do is I'll first note down the distance this distance is 2.667 okay so I'll make one lattice uh, build a lattice you know, crystal build with the edge length of 2.667 and the second dimension and third dimension I'll keep 15 angstrom so that there is no interaction with each other and hence we can consider this as a one dimensional polymer okay so this we have designed here okay now what we'll do we'll go back to this where we have designed this and we'll copy this and we'll propagate before doing that we can do one thing okay we'll do that later now copy that paste it okay now you need to align this in a such a way that this is propagating you know okay now you need to work on the alignment okay I hope you can follow me, right? So this I designed. I'll tilt it a little bit more. Fine. I hope it's visible to you guys. <coughs> Fine. Now if I propagate this lattice in a two dimension, see what happens. See only one of these will be considered, right? Not all of them, both. So we can delete uh, this one. So that this guy will propagating. I'll show you. This is the x direction. So decrease in the x lattice. Okay. We will go to this monitor bonding, and you see this is getting connected. Press on this guy. Symmetry. We'll get the proper symmetry. 
fine now we need to add hydrogens also okay don't forget that see uh, this is the, the three dimension system so all of the layers are such a far away so they are not interacting each other means this is the one dimensional that we assume now what we can do is go to the lattice uh, i want in x since it is elongating the x okay so we need to add hydrogens uh, i will right click click here we'll see it is adding up automatically no so we'll go to the wheel menu make the symmetry as p1 then go to the hydrogen and that's all it will automatically add the hydrogens wherever it is required so this way you are getting a one dimensional polymer see nicely you can design a one dimensional polymer right so this is like mm, just simple example and you can have with various you know, lattice like if you go and see suppose you want the polyaniline you can have it like this so there is, this is the repeating unit design it and put it there it can be cis form it can be trans form depending on your you know orientation you can have it you can have polypyrrole so this is this is a trans way so you need to have a two rings uh, in a unit cell design this unit and put in the unit cell and then replicate it okay like that you can have this paraconnector this biphenyl system in a polymeric way and you have polythiophenes and this is this is polyacetylene in a uh, armchair way this is armchair way this is zigzag way so you can have varieties of polymers and uh, conducting polymers in a one dimensional system this is the way you can design a polymer thank you for watching the video uh, if you have any doubt put in the comment section thank you